Hey guys, just wanted to take a second and drop a quick video. Uh, just kind of touch base with you about the school's plans uh, moving forward. Just some online education stuff. Uh, you should be expecting a phone call. If you didn't get one today, you should be getting a phone call from your homeroom teacher uh, sometime tomorrow, really, or the next day, uh, by the end of the week for sure. And uh, they're just going to ask you some questions and touch base with you about the internet that you have. And uh, just let you know that starting on Monday, this next Monday, uh, I think it's the 6th of April, your teachers should start putting stuff on Google Classroom or, or online in some fashion. I think most teachers are going to use Google Classroom. Some of your classes probably already have that set up. And so you should be expecting those things. Uh, if you have a TCAT class, I know we've got a couple of guys that have classes over at TCAT. Their classes are online and they, those teachers should be contacting you too. Um, Here's what I would highly advise all of you to do. Um, I would, I would, we talk about this all the time, but be proactive. Uh, don't be passive. The guy that's passive is the guy that's going to get left behind. Be proactive. You sh can log into your Google account, uh, and you should be able to email your teachers. Okay, you should be able to type their name in, their email address pop up. Uh, if anybody needs help with that, just reach out to me, and I can uh, give you some more directions. But it should be super simple. So, for example, if you logged into your Google account. You're going to send an email. You type in Pritchard. My name should pop up. You'll, you'll probably see my name. You may even see my kids' names in the whole school system. So it should just pop up, and you should be able to click that. Email your teachers and ask them two questions. Just say, hey, I know that this online stuff's coming. What should I expect, and when should I expect it? Just ask them those two questions, and that'll give you an idea of what that teacher is planning on doing, uh, when they're planning on putting it out. I think the, the overall plan for the school system is, Stuff's going to be started to be posted on Monday, and I think from the high school standpoint, it's going to be a weekly basis. So they're going to put stuff out for the week, and then the next Monday, they should have stuff up for the next week. Um, here's how it's going to work from a grade standpoint. If I understand correctly, everything that you do can only improve your grade. Okay, so there's, you shouldn't have to worry about no, no anxiety about, well, what if I don't understand? What if I turn something in it's wrong? It cannot hurt your grade moving forward. So the last day that we were in school, whatever your grade was, that's your grade right now. And so if you get assignments from your teacher and you do them and you do them well, it's only going to increase your grade. You cannot hurt your grade. So here's what I have to say about that. You need to take advantage of this opportunity. Okay? Take advantage of this opportunity. There are going to be a lot of students that do nothing. Okay? And if you're a baseball player... You do not need to be a part of that group that does nothing. Uh, if you're a younger guy, really, if, if any of you, if you're thinking about college, if you're thinking about maybe I want to play in college, if you've paid attention at all to what's going on, especially at the NCAA level, and it's going to trickle down probably to junior college, NAI, those guys from this past spring, everybody that was on a roster, they're going to get another year. So if you think about that moving into next season, there's going to be a lot more guys on the roster, a lot of more competition, a lot more competition for scholarships, depending on what they do. So translation, academics matter now. They're going to matter even more. So you do not need to be the guy that says, well, I've got an 86 and that's good enough, or I've got an 80 and that's good enough. No, you've got an opportunity to where you can do work and I'm telling you right now, in my opinion, if you do work, it's going to stand out. Because like I said, there's a lot of students that aren't going to do anything. So you've got an opportunity to stand out. And I think, in my opinion again, you're going to have an easy opportunity to raise your grade. And so you need to take full advantage of that and raise your grades and get as many A's as possible. Because if you're a freshman or a sophomore, if you're thinking, I think I might want to play in college if I can get the opportunity, you don't need to be looking back as a senior and say, man, I wish that C was a B or I wish that B was an A and it helped my GPA a little bit, especially when you're in a situation where you cannot lower your grade at all. It's only going to improve your grade. So reach out to your teachers and do the work. Uh, your teachers should post on their Google Classroom too, office hours. So they should have a time on any given day. Uh, where you can reach out and contact your teacher. Hey, I've got a question about this. I don't understand. Can you help me? Is there anything else I can do? That's a great question to ask. Is there anything else I can do to bring my grade up? Um, this is this is an opportunity for you to be assertive, to not be passive, and to really stand out in the crowd. And it's an opportunity for you to raise your grades. 
and, and get that GPA up and, and take advantage of an opportunity. So I encourage you, please do. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me if one of your teachers has not reached out to you. Uh, and I can I can try to see what's going on and just try to help you. I want to be your advocate in this situation. Um, the last thing that I would tell you is I'm not a fan. I'm not afraid to tell you I'm not a fan. But the school system, for some reason, has decided that we cannot use Zoom to contact our students. So some of you may be thinking, what the heck is Zoom? That's the same thing that we used last week when we got together as a team and talked online. That was Zoom. And so I had planned to do that again in the next couple of days. I uh, was going to send something out about that tonight even, but they told us that we can't use it. So I'm currently in the process of trying to find a similar service, something very similar that we can use to video chat uh, as a team. I will be in contact if I can find that. I've got to find it and get it approved by the school system. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't want to use Zoom, but they told us specifically that we cannot. So that's why you won't see that uh, coming down the road here in the next couple of days. But I am working on that. just want you to guys to know that I miss you. I love you. Um, Man, I want to be out there as much as you do, and I'm still holding out hope that at the end of this month we can get back in school and have an opportunity to play. But I really want to beg you, don't don't miss out on this opportunity to bring your grades up, focus on your academics. Like we talked about last week, all you've got is time. And so take advantage of that and really stand out in the crowd and uh, and help yourself out because you have an opportunity to do that. So I think everybody's got my number. If not, 337-9721 if you need anything. Uh, whether that's school or whether it's not school, if you need any kind of help, please reach out. Let me know. I uh, hope everybody's doing okay and staying safe. And uh, I am here for you in any capacity that you need me. So, again, miss you guys. Love you. And hopefully uh, this will all be over soon. But we'll push through it and we'll be better for it.